One of the things I enjoy most about homemaking is creating spaces in our home and just creating a home that we truly love and feel inspired by and that makes us just feel happy. There's this line in a movie that I used to watch that basically the girl said, I have a house that we used to read about in storybooks, the kind that whenever you flip the page, it makes you feel happy. And that is exactly what I want our house to be. I want it to be something that where you come in and just like, oh, that makes me feel so happy. And I feel that we have done a good job with that. And it's just something that me and my husband and hopefully our daughter one day, whenever she can have an opinion, will absolutely love and feel inspired by. So that is definitely one of my favorite things about homemaking. Now, I personally find it very hard to feel inspired and just good. I feel find it very hard to feel good in a space that is not very tidy and very clean. So that is my mission today. Obviously, I'm going to start the day with coffee. We start every single day with coffee because you already know. And so <laughs> my mission today is to make our kitchen organized and clean and we will be bringing in a new appliance. So <laughs> I cannot wait for you guys to see that because it's so fun. I'll tell you the story about it. But anyways, this clean out starts with our coffee cabinet. I actually recently did this cabinet already, so I don't have a ton to get rid of, but we just have tons of like mugs that we don't actually use that we just kept because they're nice, which is like never a good excuse to keep something. It's never a good excuse to keep something that's just like, oh, I, this was nice, so I'm keeping it. That's dumb. We don't actually use them. So I'm getting rid of those. I'm getting rid of other stuff that we just don't use. And so I'm trying to make this less overwhelming of a space where the drawer actually closes and it's just not like we don't lose stuff constantly in this cabinet, which was what was happening before. And so that definitely needed to get cleaned out. And once I wrapped that up, this video actually took place on two different days. Once I wrapped that up, I started to clean out our brand new appliance. So if you scroll back to the front of this video, you'll realize or you'll notice, I guess, that this was a brand new fridge um, in this spot before and now it's a fridge from the 1960s so obviously i'm gonna have to explain that to you guys because you're probably thinking that i'm insane and you could be right but basically the other day we were shopping at an estate sale and i found this fridge this yellow general electric refrigerator from the 1960s it was dated on the back it said 1961 and it is in honestly great condition it holds temperature really well and it just seems so nice and i just thought oh my gosh i have to have that for our lime green kitchen like a yellow fridge are you kidding and it was really really reasonable like super cheap i think we paid like 150 bucks so come on like had to have that so the next job for this week was to get the fridge inside which was no small task it was very very heavy and get it totally cleaned out, wiped down. You know how it is when you buy a new fridge, you wanna like wipe down the whole thing and swap over all of our food from the other fridge. So I still had a little bit of food in this fridge um, just because I can't really remember why. I think I just like left it on the counter and got it in as quick as I could. Um, so I'm emptying out, I started by emptying out this fridge even though a lot of this is gonna end up going downstairs because we've, we've always had two refrigerators and a deep freezer. It's just the best way for us to organize all of our food, um, which is probably another video for another time. But I start by emptying out this refrigerator and making sure that all the shelves get cleaned and wiped down just because it's a used fridge. So of course, we're gonna wipe down all the shelves, make sure it's clean. And like, honestly, this fridge was in such good condition that it was genuinely cleaner than the one that we moved out like our own fridge i'm pretty sure this one was actually cleaner so i was really thankful to find that this shelf was able to come out the other really cool thing about older appliances is that all the shelves and the glass like all the shelves and i guess that's another shelf are metal and glass they're not plastic so I just truly love old appliances because one, I, I'm not trying to be the person that's like, back in my day, they were made better, but it really seems like they were made better, guys. Like, they're so simple. Look at all of this metal inside. And the best part is that 
the shelves swivel out. Look at this. Can you even believe this? And they're all metal, so they're not going to break. They all pull out, which is such an awesome feature. I do not know why we got rid of this in fridges nowadays. It's just the coolest thing. So obviously I'm making sure that everything's clean. I'm cleaning inside the drawers and I'm going to clean underneath the drawers basically so that they can, so that just so we have like a really clean slate to work with, which is always nice. I love old appliances, not only because it really truly does feel like they are made better, but also because they are so simple that it just feels like they can't break. Like this fridge, obviously it was in the 1960s, does not have the tech like a Wi-Fi enabled anything or nothing like that, like the new fridges have. There's no motherboard. I was actually researching the most expensive thing to go out on a fridge and it said the motherboard. And I was like, oh, this doesn't have a motherboard. Therefore it's gonna be like, it's just coils and refrigerant. You know what I mean? So it's just, they're so much simpler than they used to be. And therefore they just don't go out as quick, which I absolutely love. So the next step in the fridge cleaning out journey was to lug up all the food that was in our downstairs fridge, um, keeping cool while we swap the fridges upstairs and go through it. So obviously I'm going to take the opportunity to get rid of duplicates, get rid of things that are expired, which I'm embarrassed to admit that we definitely had some expired food in our fridge and um, get rid of things that we just don't use. Also, for some reason, a lot of food accumulated in our fridge that wasn't ours. Like we had tons of blocks of cream cheese and I don't eat dairy, so I don't even know why that was there. So I'm just going through things that just we don't need is expired. We don't even know where it came from and just getting rid of all that kind of stuff. It's so nice to go through your fridge every once in a while, even if you have to do it while holding a baby sometimes, of course. It's just so nice to get rid of things you don't actually eat and just things you don't actually use. Right now I'm separating things that actually go downstairs. Like we don't keep our fryer or duplicates in the upstairs fridge. We actually never have, even though this fridge is a little bit smaller than our last one, we still didn't keep it there. So I'm just doing that first and just sorting through all the condiments and all that kind of stuff so that we can make sure we start out with this fridge being super tidy and organized from the very beginning. I already mentioned to you guys the pull out shelves on this fridge, um, but that is not the only cool feature. So obviously the drawer at the bottom swivels, which I already showed, which is so cool. But the other cool thing about this fridge is that it has a butter dish built in. Look at this guys and an egg basket. And so you can see, I am going to resort out my eggs. I'm just going to take them out of the carton and put them into the egg basket just because if I don't, that space won't get used. And so I definitely want to make sure we are using all the space just because this fridge is a little bit small. So as you can see, I am just kind of playing around with where stuff should go, making sure we are utilizing all of the space, like all the tall space and laying down things that we can lay down and just kind of getting a feel for where stuff is going to go in this new fridge. I'm sure if you've ever had to swap fridges before you can relate it's kind of a guessing game at first but we actually did end up with a few um, extra spaces to stash leftovers and that sort of thing so I'm really happy with how it turned out and then the next job that we needed to do in this kitchen was sort through our pantry I am just a firm believer that when you are having a clean out day, you might as well do it all. Do as much as you can fit in one day. So I started with more or less the same approach in the pantry as I did in the fridge, which is just getting rid of things we don't actually eat, things that might be expired, and kind of just pulling almost everything out. I did decide that the things in our doors, which you can see like the spice cabinet, uh, nothing out of those needed to come out because it was all went through pretty recently, but pretty much every other thing came out of the pantry and I went through it and I made sure that we used everything and just kind of like, <laughs> We just had stuff stashed in the most random of places. And so I wanted to try and get rid of that. Absolutely no shame here. I did lose steam halfway through this job and I went to the fish store because those jobs can just get so tedious. So let me show you what I got. I got this cute espresso shot glass. This thing, I think it's a candle holder and these two copper bowls. I'm planning to make candles out of them. So, okay, back to the pantry after my 
thrift store jaunt. I'm just repackaging up some stuff that I think needs to go in containers. We've never been a big container house, which is honestly the reason why I went to the thrift store in the first place was to look for containers. I didn't find anything as you saw. And so I just decided to use a couple containers that we actually already had on hand that I found in an upper cabinet to pack up things like rice and flour. And from there, it's honestly just kind of like a game of Tetris to get everything in our pantry. As you can see, or as I'm sure you've already saw, our pantry is kind of unique in the sense that it has like two doors where you can fit some stuff and then two swingy outy cabinets. I don't really ever know what to call these things. And then two sections in the back. The one downside to a pantry like this is that there's no huge spaces. And so we have to be really strategic in the way that we stack stuff up and put stuff in. And so getting our pantry loaded in is honestly kind of like a game of Tetris, but I do love that our pantry takes up such a small footprint in our kitchen and honestly holds so much. So that's super handy. I don't know who designed it, but I do like it. It just does feel a little bit like a game of Tetris to get everything back inside of it whenever we pull everything out. Even though it is such a big job to go through the pantry and the fridge and all those sorts of things, I just find it absolutely so worth it to take the time to make our kitchen efficient and clean because we do just spend so much time there throughout the day and so it's just so worth it to have a stocked and clean efficient pantry and fridge. One feature that I forgot to point out earlier was the foot pedal. See, it opens the door. Isn't that cool? I just cannot get over this thing. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me as I created a clean and efficient space for our kitchen and I will see you guys in the next video.